Meek Mill is tired of business people trying to get over on him. He tweeted out, business people trying to treat me mentally slow is my biggest challenge. Sometimes I want to just show them how I make people really pay for trying me because they play a lot of mental games, but the games we play are too extreme for them. What do I do? Because one day something going to happen and I'm going to put my life at risk to make a big statement so this don't continue to happen in rap music. They stealing all the money and they got the lawyers on their side and Meek went on to say something along the lines of real killers and robbers know they would die if they touch me but I'm letting business people take what's mine IDK man I don't really know how to handle this one and then Meek said he's just gonna get off the internet after posting those couple of things you know for those who don't remember about seven years ago one of the first things I said on my platform when I started was I believe Meek Mill could have a Tupac-like impact on rap. And a lot of people called me out. They said, what are you talking about, Pharaoh? And I still stand by that statement today. I knew out the gate that Meek was one of those dudes that was going to get into rooms that most rappers can't get in. And I also knew that Meek had the ear. He's always had the ear. He's a really good a and all, If you look at what's on Meek's albums, Generally speaking, he always knows what's coming down the pipeline musically. And he's also in those rooms from a business standpoint. And he's not afraid to give his perspective on things like another rapper like Drake, right? Like Drake has got every quality that I'm telling you about Meek, but Drake ain't going to speak out about stuff like that because Drake's clearly not socially trying to do that with his life. Meek will go there in the wars that Drake or somebody like that won't touch. So that's why I said what I said. Now, when I see Meek online pretty much saying, yo, I'm frustrated, bro. Business people trying to play me, I feel him. You know, obviously, I don't know what exactly Meek's talking about. It appears he's referencing to the labels, which we know Meek has had problems with in the past. Meek has said he's not talking about his deal with MMG. He's talking about the deal that he's got with Atlantic Records not going in his favor. We obviously don't see Meek dropping as much music as he used to even though we know for a fact meek still raps at an incredible clip so we know he's got music clearly he's not reaching barometers needed to drop new music from the label he's obviously not as hot as he was seven eight years ago but clearly he still wants to drop and meek is saying yo business people trying to play him they playing mental games and i feel him all right i've had people play with me over the last two three years and it don't feel good because you're the talent. You're, you're the talent. I've been going through problems on the back end here with like Google and Facebook and all these companies uh, behind the scenes, my darn self. And they trying to play us, bro, because they don't think we have the intelligence or we're not in these rooms. We're not doing dinners with these people on the side. I can only imagine what somebody of Meek's caliber is going through. I got it. I promise you I got it. The problem is, though, what Meek is saying is, yo, He's considering doing some street in a business world. And unfortunately, even though it hurts, even though, you know, your feelings get hurt, your, your pockets oftentimes get hurt, Meek know you can't go about it that way. But he's like, I'm all out of options. And I, he's, he's like, yo, if I were in the streets, nobody would play with me like this because I would go to them lengths to get some results. But he's in business. And somebody gave me this advice a couple years ago and I've taken it with me. You can't kill all your ops, even your business ops. You can't do that. If you do it, you either going to hell, jail, and ain't nobody gonna be there to post your bail. I want you to understand what I just said. If you can't kill all your business ops. If you do, you either going to hell or jail, and ain't nobody gonna be there to post your bail. So you gotta find ways to go to war with people in business. Cause they are playing trifling games out there. Oftentimes, corporate people are playing games there are 30, 40, 50 years gaps worth of money and worth of knowledge between a lot of us who are first generation money getters. And it sucks because they playing these games with us. They playing these relationship games with us and they trying to take advantage. They're taking advantage of us. And it's taking us so long to even figure out the basis of getting money. By time we're able to realize what games have been played. So much money has been taken out of our pockets. You know, Mink knows he can't go about it the way that he wants to, though. He probably should just get off the internet, like he said. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Meek Mill clearly is not happy with business people trying to play him. Let me know. Have you had some experiences like that? And, and I'm sure you have. Let me know what has teed you off the most 
about somebody trying to play you in business about your paper about your business whatever the case may be all right time love and support is what your boy will never take for granted i'm out what's up everybody it's yours truly i'm the one and only i'm your boy pharaoh if you are enjoying the great quality content make sure you put yourself in position to get more of your boy for music news, updates, and commentary, make sure you're following and subscribe to me on Facebook and YouTube at It's Mr. Teleferro. For basketball news, highlights, and commentary, make sure you're following and subscribe to me on Facebook and YouTube at Hoops Pharaoh. It's free 99 to you. It truly means the world to me. Let's run these numbers up. I appreciate the time, love, and support.